Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about how can we install the TestNG plugin in our Eclipse. So to start with, I will just give you a brief introduction about the TestNG. So TestNG is a very powerful testing framework which is used by testers across the globe. It is quite similar to JUnit in terms of its functionality, but on top of JUnit, it has some additional features like TestNG reports and even management and grouping of test cases is very easy using TestNG. So that's why it is very widely used TestNG framework. So to in order to use TestNG, there are two steps you need to perform. First, you need to add the TestNG dependency in your pom.xml file and secondly, you need to install the TestNG plugin from the Eclipse marketplace. So now I will show you the steps. So here I have the sample project. So if you go to pom.xml file, here you can see the TestNG dependency. Here you can see that I have added the TestNG dependency in it. If you create your project using the Maven build automation tool, then you will see the pom.xml file. So in pom.xml file, we simply add the dependency. So it will simply go to that particular website and download the necessary jars our project may need. So in order to add the TestNG dependency to pom.xml, just go to Google and search for TestNG Maven dependency. Now go to that website. Here we have the latest version of TestNG. Just click over it. And here you can see that the dependency. Just copy that. Go to your Eclipse, your project and paste your TestNG dependency. It will automatically download all the necessary jars that our project may need in order to build. Then to add the TestNG jar to your project, just go to that page again. So if you don't have pom.xml file in your project, then that means you have not created your project using Maven. So in that case, you need to manually add the jar to your project for the TestNG. Just go to that particular site again and click on the files. It will download the jar to our machine. Just go to its folder. Just copy its path. Right click on your project. Go to configure build path. Sorry. There it is. Go to libraries, select the class path, add external years, and simply paste the location. Click over the testng jar file, open. Now you can see our testng jar file has been added to our class path. So I am removing it because I don't need it in my project and because I have the maven and pom.xml file in my project. Apply and close. So after the addition of testng dependency to your pom.xml file or manually addition of jar file to your project, the next thing we need to do is installation of TestNG plugin into our Eclipse. Click on help and go to Eclipse marketplace. Just go to find text button. Just click on the find and enter the TestNG and click on go button. Here you can see that we don't have any option of test ng. So now the latest version of Eclipse, uh, you will be unable to add the test ng plugin from the Eclipse marketplace. So we have another way. Simply go to help again and click on install new software. Now go to Google and search for test ng Eclipse. Click on Eclipse test ng. Go 
just click on installations click on install the plugin okay, simply copy the address of the site given here go to your eclipse click on install new software click on add button just mention the test ng here and paste the address and click on add button so here you can see the test ng plugin in the window just select the checkbox so it may take few minutes for you in order to download the test ng plugin so after you get the test ng plugin just simply click on next button so it will download the test ng plugin into your eclipse so just click on next again i accept so after the installation of software so it will ask you to restart your eclipse so when you restart your eclipse and then uh, you will able to run your test cases using the test ng so uh, if you like the video please subscribe our channel and like the video so we will come up with more relevant topics for you in the near future thank you thanks a lot